Let's talk about the product that we call Absorb. It sort of looks a little bit like a digestive enzyme or sort of looks a little bit like a probiotic, but you're calling it a a systemic. So yes, it does have digestive enzymes in it, yes, but it is not a digestive enzyme product. It does have probiotics in it, but it is not a singular, singularly a probiotic product. Um, Absorb is all about front to back, top to bottom gut health. Um, and, it's, and it's a very simple premise. You have, you have your people out there that do their day to day and they eat their meat and potatoes and they you know, go to McDonald's and things like that. And, and that works and that's great. And then you have the people that may have done that before or maybe not, but are making a huge investment in their health. They are doing the right things right and they are exercising, they are taking the right, uh, eating the right foods and taking the right supplements. Not in, in either case, they never stop to put their gut into a place where they're really able to get all those things that they're doing, especially the people that are making that investment. That's a large investment. Farmer's markets are not the cheapest places to shop. They're the cleanest places to shop. They are delicious and fresh and all that stuff, but they are not the, the cheapest. Um, it is an investment that, that, that they're making and getting the most out of those things is a very big deal, but nobody really takes the time to go, Oh, I'm just going to switch my diet to this and start getting better stuff in me. But is your body utilizing that better stuff? And that's really where absorb comes in. Um, yes, it has digestive enzymes in it, but we are actually using the same capsule that we use for fibrenza protecting those enzymes so they stay intact as they travel through the lower acid levels of an empty stomach, get into the small intestine, release there, and are capable of doing a whole lot more than just digesting food. Because years of a poor or less than desirable diet, years of a less than desirable lifestyle, are going to wreak havoc on your gut. They're going to put a bunch of sludge and bile and garbage on those intestinal walls. Those walls are lined with little tiny fingers called villi. And those villi dictate your absorption of pretty much everything. And if they they start getting covered in this sludge and caked over and laying down flat, that's going to hurt their ability to pull those nutrients out of food, get the vitamins out of your supplementation, get minerals, proteins, all these things. Those digestive enzymes are going to release right there in those first 12 inches of your small intestine. It's called your duodenum. And that's where you have the highest chance of absorbing just about everything you put in your body. So those enzymes are going to release right there and start breaking down all that gunk and bile and junk that's covering those intestinal walls. Get those villi standing back up on end like they should be, amping up your body's ability to pull these nutrients, these vitamins, these minerals, and so on, out of everything you're putting in. Um, those, Those enzymes are followed up with ozonated magnesium oxide. And we're not using a huge amount in there because when you start talking about ozonated magnesium oxide, a lot of people start going, okay, am I going to need to have a bathroom within five feet of me at all times? That's not the case with this. It's very gentle. Um, we aren't using a huge amount to create that flushing action. Um, what we are trying to bring is two things to the table, a little bit of magnesium to help hydrate the intestinal tract and a little bit of that oxygen because oxygen is not only a great cleanser, but it's also a great alkalizer. And way too many people are out of whack as far as that acid alkaline relationship in the gut. So um, contributing towards alkalizing, contributing towards hydrating is the purpose of the magnesium oxide. And then after that, it is followed up with a bunch of probiotics plus a prebiotic to help put that good bacteria in play. And the feedback that we get on that product is absolutely all over the map, all over the map. There is no rhyme and reason rhyme or reason to the benefits that people call us with, that they're feeling with, uh, with absorb. They're not changing anything about what they're doing. They're not, it sounds like they're changing their entire regimen or changing their entire diet. They're doing everything they've been doing all along. They're only adding absorb and absorb. There's two separate stages of benefit with it. There's like, the first one is like three, four, five days after you start on it. During that time, it's correcting things. It's kind of riding the ship, if you will. And there is a real, genuine, tangible sense of wellness that comes with that. 
But then you fast forward just two or three weeks after that. And during that time, you have now gotten a whole lot more out of all your food, out of all your supplements and all of those things that you've been doing for years and years in many instances. Now you're getting a whole lot more out of them and the way your body reacts is just staggering. I mean, I have people telling me they sleep better, better quality sleep, more restful sleep, deeper sleep, feeling that they got more out of their sleep that next morning, uh, more endurance to make it further into the day without feeling worn out and fatigued. Um, I had one guy call me and tell me his vision was improving. I had a woman I spoke with just two weeks ago, give or take a week and a half, two weeks ago that, um, she said her hair has never been the same for the better, for the better. And it's all because of all these things that they've already been doing. Their body just never realized it. Okay. So I guess what I hear you telling me is, this absorb will pay for itself in gold because as soon as you start taking it, everything that will follow it is going to be utilized at a better rate. Yep, very so much. Would you, so. would you stay on it constant? Would it be like forever supplement? Yeah, I I, I think it can be absolutely. Certainly, it's not going to hurt to do it. Um, there's there's a few different ways to look at it. I have some practitioners that that I work with that will say, "Here, congratulations, you're taking this for life." I have some practitioners that will say, hey, listen, um, this large bottle is a uh, two and a half month supply and I just want you to take this one bottle. And then I have some practitioners that say, hey, listen, I want, you to, um, I want you to take this large bottle now and then in six months, eight months, we'll give you another one. So they're you know, doing a, an, uh, an off and on maintenance with it. But yes, you can absolutely benefit from taking it daily you can if you are the type that does eat right and you aren't you aren't polluting yourself with a bunch of things then yeah i mean you can certainly get off of it and then get back on it a few months later that you know what i mean and, and do it a quarterly or, or you know semi-annual maintenance thing. i have plenty of practitioners that do it that way but if you're you know really busy you're totally swamped and you're traveling constantly and you're eating and you know supersizing every third meal at mcdonald's you might want to, you know, you might want to get on other things too, but, but uh, you might want to be on the, the absorb. 